This video tutorial is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of some typical question styles that you will be encountering while taking an inductive reasoning style psychometric test. Our goal with these inductive reasoning tests is to look at a sequence of abstract figures and to predict the next item in that sequence, following premises that one believes to be true. Let's start with the arrows. Okay, north, east, north, north, south. No obvious face value pattern. How about the small circles? West, north, east, north, north. Hmm, again, nothing face value. And yet, we can already notice a repeat there. North, east, north, north. Upon further examination, we can now hopefully see that the circles appear to be positioning themselves where the last arrow is pointing. This would mean that we need the small circle to be positioned south. If we look at the answers, we can see that answers A, B and D all have circles in the south position. OK, so more rules need to be established. We haven't yet looked at the big circles, so let's do so now. At first, it may be difficult to determine a pattern, so we should follow a small detail across the figure sequence. The downward sloping cross hatching starts in the top left, then jumps to the bottom right. Next, bottom left, then top right, and back to top left. That indeed may be all the sequence requires to induce what comes next, namely the second of the four part sequence, bottom right. From our potential answers with our previous arrow circle pattern, A, B and D, only A and B fit this added pattern also. And finally, let's look at the upward sloping cross hatching. It starts in the top right, then bottom left, then bottom right, and then top right, and finishes in the bottom left. So this is a different pattern to our previous, it's triangular, and is not then a mirror pattern. Following this pattern in the same way, our next figure in the sequence would be in the bottom right. From our potential answers A and B, this is only true for B. Therefore, we can induce that our answer is B. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. We hope it's been helpful. Best of luck with your test practicing here at Assessment Day.